This is a South Korean romance film and it starts with a scene in the church, where the priest along with all the other people sitting on the benches are offering their prayers to the Almighty God. Later, that same priest is seen taking a loan from a man, who is sitting on the stairs and asking about the reason for the loan. After giving the priest the private loan that man climbs the stairs, and heads towards his next work. That man is Han Tio, who works as a low-level thug, as a debt collector, working in decent industries. He lives with his family which includes his father who works as a bus driver, his brother, Yong Il, his sister-in-law, Mai Young, and their daughter. Also, his father and brother don't like him working as a thug. His problem is that he is a man with a good heart in bad world. Han Tiel then goes to a man who has been delaying repaying his loan, but that man continuously brags about his sob story. Frustrated by listening to his pleadings, he threatens him by saying to end the story of their lives, and starts to pour gasoline around here and there. He even drinks the gasoline, and the man gets scared and gives him the money he had saved for his shop's rent and kids' education. Before leaving he gives the third half of the money back to that man for his kids' study, and then leaves taking the rest of it. Coming out of the store, suddenly he goes to the side and starts vomiting, Maybe it's because he drank gasoline. Later, he goes to a Chinese restaurant which was a spot for gambling, drinking, and other illegal activities. There his boss assigns Han Tiel, his next task. The task was to take the money back from the man who had taken a loan, but he is in a coma. Moreover, he has one daughter, Ju Ho Young, and now she will have to repay the debt. To complete this task, he heads toward the hospital. He along with two other men entered the room in which that man was admitted. A young girl came out of the washroom and told them to leave, as her father needed a bath. Han Tiel asked to have a chat with her and tried to show her the legal papers, but she responded harshly to him. Seeing this, Han Tiel asked his men to take the patient out. She tried to stop them from taking the bed out. When she was convinced that they will not stop she agreed to whatever they wanted her to do. Minutes later, they made her sign the legal papers that stated, she will now have to repay her father's debt by giving money and installments with interest every month on a certain date. When they were exiting the hospital, Han Tiel stopped for some moments and unintentionally thought about Ho Young. The next day, when Han Tiel got out of the shop and walked towards the signal, he saw Ho Young in uniform saying bye to her friends. He followed her as she went to the hospital, took her father's treatment bill from the reception, and saw her exhausted face as she was looking at the amount that was remaining to be paid. One night, Ho Young got out of the bank and was heading towards her house when Han Tiel suddenly called her. Ho Young was shocked to see him there and got more shocked when he asked her to have a drink with him, as he wanted to talk about something. Now, they were at the restaurant sitting face to face, he said that she should not have signed those papers without explaining anything. She still was not able to understand why is he saying this to her. She left the restaurant shouting at him that she will pay back the money herself. The next day, when Ho Young enters her father's room in the hospital, she gets furious at seeing Han Tiel there but ignores him and walks out. Seeing Han Tiel following her, she turns around and makes him understand that she does not need his help paying the hospital bills or repaying the debt. While Han Tiel also makes her realize that she will not be able to pay all this money by herself, so she should better cooperate with him. Thus, they end up arguing in the middle of the hospital. After this, Han Tiel goes to his office, which looks like a spot for some illegal working, and there he asks his boss to hand over the contract back to Joe Hung as a thanksgiving, which Joe Hung signed previously. The following day, Han Tiel went to Ho Young, and at that time she was in the bank. She was working and he was asking for a meetup. She tried to stay calm and asked him to go away. But he didn't move or listen to her and her seniors called the police. They both ended up being in a police station, where the officer also took Han Tiel's side as they stated it's legal to remind someone to pay their debt on time. When they got out of the police station, he asked her to meet him the other day. When Han Tiel got home, he continuously thought about how to help Joe Hung to get out of that contract with his company, and he came up with an amazing idea. That night, he visited Joe Hung at the hospital and explained how the memo that he made voids the contract she signed. The deal was that she had to meet Teal every day, and for every hour they meet, he will color the boxes in that memo. Finally, when that memo will be completed, the contract will be hers. This means that she might get free from paying the debt. At that moment, she refuses but he gives her his number in case she accepts his offer. The other day, Jo Hung was thinking about how the hospital has stopped giving medicines to her father, because the bills were not paid. This forced her to reach a decision and there she was now in front of Teal agreeing to the offer he gave last night. They ended up having a rough conversation about what they will be doing while spending time together. However, at the next meeting, they finally decided to act on the offer, but she reminded him to keep the promise. From the very next day, they started meeting for some hours a day. They met when Joe Hung had her break for lunch and they always visited a restaurant. But Joe Hung never touched the food while Teal was the one always eating. It was after some days when Joe Hung saw Han Teal giving a bath to her father. She realized although he was a thug he also had a good side of his own. The next time, when they were at the restaurant, Joe Hung picked up the chopsticks and started eating lunch, 
Seeing her eating, Teal also got happy. From now onwards, they were having a better time with each other while having a walk or eating at a cafe. As Johung was now being a bit responsive instead of being completely silent while meeting him. Thus, they started liking each other. It cuts to the scene where two men were seen destroying a shop in the market throwing things here and there, while the owner was pleading with them to stop and talk to Mr. Han. When Han Teal got there he pushed the owner inside and went somewhere with the other two men. All this was witnessed by Jo Hung and she misunderstood the situation. The following day, when she entered her father's room in the hospital, the nurse told her that her boyfriend has taken her father to the terrace. Father. She ignored him and started moving downstairs taking her father's wheelchair. When Teal asked her what was wrong, she told him neither to call her nor to come back again. In return, she told him to leave and claim that she will pay the debt soon. Han Teal got hurt by her rude behavior and threw his frustration out on other women whom he used to meet before. Later, Teal got drunk and went to the hospital to tell Jo Hung that what he said earlier was not true. He told her he does not love her. Now, whenever Teal visited that restaurant, he used to visit with Jo Hung, he starts missing her terribly. One day, when Teal was having his lunch at his office, one of the workers came asking about the Jo Hung's father's case file. Upon asking why he needed the file, he told Teal that her father had died. Jo Hung was left alone in the world, as she was sitting in the funeral hall in sorrow. Suddenly, the door opened and Teal entered the funeral hall. He bowed down in front of her late father's photo, and asked her whether she has eaten anything yet or not. She was surprised to see him there, but got a feeling of relief that still someone is there who cares for her. In the next moment, Teal managed all the funeral preparations, and called his friends and relatives to offer their condolences to the family. He took good care of her the next days and stayed with her. During all this, Jo Hung sees Teal with a different perspective. She sees his kindness and softness behind his criminal aura. One day, Teal came to drop Jo Hung at the bank, and there she asked to talk with him, as she had few more minutes. They went to the terrace of the bank, standing next to each other against the wall. Jo Hung asked him that does he feel pity or like her. As she already knew the answer she asked why he liked her. Unable to answer, this talk ended with them having some sweet intense moments with each other. Now, they both seem to be in a happy relationship with each other. Two years later, Teal seemed to be sewing a heart with the wool and needle, sitting inside the jail. Today was his last day there, as he was now going to be free. After getting out of jail, he went to the police station to know the whereabouts of his family as they have moved. The old police officer gave him their recent address and Teal left saying he was a model prisoner. He was waiting outside when his nephew, who was now a grown-up girl, and his sister-in-law came from somewhere, they were happy to see him. Later, he met his brother who was still angry at him. It is also revealed that he still had one more year of sentence, but got released earlier which he told his family that it's because he was regarded as a model prisoner. Teal also got to meet his father, but his father was in not a good condition, and he had a dispute with his brother for not taking good care of their father. Jo Hung was heading home after work, when she saw Teal after two years, sitting on the stairs in front of her house. She was speechless for a moment and then asked how he found her. She also refused to take the bag he was giving her and said some hurtful things to him. Then she went into her house leaving him behind. Teal hung that bag on the wall outside her house. Then, Teal was standing in the washroom, soaping his face to shave but suddenly, his nose started bleeding heavily and he collapsed on the floor. Going back to the time when he was in jail, through his medical tests the officers found out that he had a brain tumor, and that was the reason behind his release soon as he had only three months left to live. Two years ago, Teo was happiest being with Ju Hung and he was going to her house. As he entered, he saw her washing clothes by hand and taunted why had they bought a washing machine. Ju Hung asked him to hike the mountain together. First, he refused but then bought her a jacket to go. They went to the mountain, Teo placed his head in Jo Hung's lap and lies down on the bench. Jo Hung was asking him not to be associated with that illegal work and to quit it. She told him how they could then have a beautiful future together they could start their chicken shop and have a cute kid. Later, Teal was there in front of his boss telling him that he was quitting. But his boss managed to convince him to stay for a last big job and then he could retire. Also, his boss asked him to collect all private loans he gave. And now there he was, at the priest's place asking to pay the debt which he had previously given him. Finally, he was able to find the locker in the priest's office. And when the priest opened the locker, Teal fainted. That's when Teal got to know for the first time from the doctor that he has a brain tumor. The doctor guided him about the treatments and therapies, which were all beyond his understanding. Later that night, when Jo Hung got home and they were both having dinner, she gave him the money which included her dad's insurance and some that she had saved. She explained their plans to him of opening a chicken shop, getting married, and having a child, unknown to the fact that he might not even be alive. The next day, they went to the agent to see some shops, 
but the shop Jo Hung liked was really expensive so she said to Teal that they can even start from small. Teal wanted to buy that shop and knew more money would be needed to start a new business. Therefore, after she returned to the bank, he went to his boss. He accepted the big job his boss offered him and risked all their money they had saved for the business. Unfortunately, crime eventually catches up to Teal and he ends up losing all the money. As goons crashed their gambling session and looted all the money. While trying to save the money from being stolen, he gets beaten up by them badly. On the other side, Jo Hung was waiting for him to come to the agent's shop as they were going to sign the contract today with the shop owner. Now, Tio was in the Chinese restaurant drinking after being hurt so much, as he had destroyed her dreams. When Jo Hung came to that restaurant, and sat at the table next to his and began asking questions knowing he has got nothing to say. She wanted to know why he went to them when he promised her he won't, and told him what the realtor said to her. Gangsters can't lead a normal life. Tio who was already guilty enough rather than making Jo Hung understand that he had screwed up, blames her instead and claimed that he never loved her. Getting extremely hurt Jo Hung walks away from there, and Teal gets entangled with two police officers after fighting with some boys. Then, he gets arrested for assaulting police officers and is sentenced to jail for three years. Months passed and when the police got to know about his illness, they released him. The scene cuts to present day. Teal got the address of his previous boss from his old police officer and went to him. Du Chol, his boss was now working in a big factory. Teal asked him for his money. Duchol taunted him of digging old grudges and refused to give him any money. The next day, he destroyed Duchol's factory rooms, and then he was kept in the refrigerated storage space for hours. After that, when he was dragged out, he showed his reports to Duchol and asked him for the last favor as a friend. Duchol finally gave the money to Teal as he got to know of his illness. In the next scene, Teal was waiting for Jo Hung to come. And when she came and saw him giving the money back, she immediately refused to take that money and pleaded with him to go. Teal tried to make her understand his situation, but she didn't want to listen. He suddenly embraced her in his arms, she tried to protest but failed. When Teal got home later, he again got in a fight with his brother. When he saw Teal all injured and accused him of being in a fight again. That night Teal had a heartfelt conversation with his father too. A few days later, Teal's sister-in-law asked him to leave the house because they were involved in many fights. She did all this because her husband, and Tio got into a fight against the man who tried to harass her. Tio packed his things and left the house. He also met Jo Hung for the last time. When he was leaving the city he saw Jo Hung with two people. Then he watches her from distance and she looks happy to him. It can only be assumed that he's happy for her as he was smiling while returning. But then he collapses nearby, bleeding heavily. He then wakes up in the hospital. After getting up, he goes to reception to clear the bills, but was shocked to see that Jo Hung had already paid the bills. Jo Hung sees that incident and got to know about his illness. She got to know about how he didn't even get his treatment done in jail. Realizing that her love does not have long to live, she decides to stay by his side. She goes to him and stops when she saw him standing across the alley. Teal also notices her and stops. When they both have eye contact, she starts crying her heart out and then he also starts crying feeling helpless. They both cried standing in front of each other. After this, Jo Hung stayed by Teal's side every time he had any treatment. She took him to the hospital roof for air, and to read for him. Each night she slept beside his hospital bed holding his hand. But the inevitable always happens and now came the last moments of Tiel's life, as his condition got worse day by day. His family was also informed about his illness. One night, when Jo Hung was going to give a bath to him, she realized he is already dead and confessed his love to him for the last time. Tiel's father, his brother, and his nephew, all were suffering in pain at his funeral, including Jo Hung, who was left alone once again in this world, but Teal already told his father about how much he loves her. He requested him to be a father to her when he is gone, because she won't have anyone else around her. Jo Hung missed Teal so much that it felt like he was always with her during her days and nights. The movie ends with Jo Hung crying as she missed Teal when she was sitting on his father's bus returning from her job.